Weather Rate certified most accurate forecast in Central Texas. This is Fox 44 Weather with Chief Meteorologist Mike LaPointe. A beautiful night here. We are looking at clear skies on this Valentine's night, and we are also talking about some rather light winds. They haven't been bad, but those winds will start to pick up here over the next uh, day or so, and they're going to be with us for a while. But again, beautiful conditions. Not a cloud in the sky. This is in Woodway, our live Centex seamless gutter sky tracker right here in Woodway. That is Highway 84 looking uh, pretty quiet right now at this hour. Our temperatures this week, we're going to be on a roller coaster kind of up and down. And right now we're up. We hit 72 degrees today, 73. I expect tomorrow 74 on Wednesday. We're going to watch a front move through. That'll drop us into the 60s on Thursday. But you know what? That's kind of deceiving. It's going to be 65 degrees shortly after midnight. Temperatures are going to be down in the 40s and 50s for most of the day. And then same story on Friday and then ramping it right back up there as we hit uh, the weekend. And next week, we're looking at temperatures back into the 70s. Now, rain chances again are not the best. We'll take anything we can get. I mean, we are still short right now for the month, and we also need to help out our drought situation. 50% chance right now showers, maybe some storms late Wednesday into early Thursday. But again, chances right now are 50-50. We'll see how that kind of pans out. It does appear that some of the computer models are taking that moisture a little bit farther to our north, but we will see, right? 53 degrees right now, the current temperature in the Palestine area, 54 Hearn, 53 in Temple. We've got clear skies in Colina at 52 and over toward the uh, Gatesville area. It's 51 degrees under mostly clear skies. So take a look at the forecast there. This is at midnight. We're going to keep it clear, very quiet with temperatures in the 40s. By tomorrow morning, we're going to notice some clouds moving in. So we may start off with a mix of sun and clouds across the region with temperatures in the 40s, but quickly turning mostly sunny. And we're looking at a lot of sunshine by noon, temperatures mid to upper 60s, maybe a few more clouds the farther southeast you go, but temperatures are still going to climb into the upper 60s to around 70. And then by the afternoon, I think we'll make a run at the low to mid 70s tomorrow and then back down into the upper 60s to around 70 at 5 o'clock. So another very mild day, but we're going to throw some stronger winds in the forecast as we go throughout the day tomorrow. And by Tuesday night, more and more clouds start to advance. We're seeing more of a southerly wind, more moisture begins to increase here. So I think as we start the day on Wednesday, mostly cloudy skies here, but that will also kind of keep us warm. Those clouds act like a blanket. and We're starting the day around 60 degrees. So at 7 o'clock in the morning, we're not feeling too bad here. As we go throughout the day, there will be some breaks. There may be some drizzle that kind of moves through as well with all that moisture. And by 5 o'clock, I still expect mainly dry conditions. Once again, temperatures will be in the 70s, maybe mid to upper 70s, the farther south and west you go. We'll put the clock in motion as we hit the evening. We'll watch a little trough move through, and it looks like by very late Wednesday into early Thursday. This is 1 o'clock in the morning Thursday. We've got a line of showers and storms that will be basically up and down I-35. As those uh, continue to track across our area, they will have the possibility of bringing some stronger winds with it out ahead of a front. Now, once again, it's not going to last long, and it looks like by 7 o'clock in the morning on Thursday, it's out of here. We're looking at clear skies, quiet conditions, and like I said, we'll see high temperatures shortly after midnight, and then temperatures for most of the day on Thursday are going to be only in the 40s. Area high pressure moving across the region at this time. That will also keep us uh, a bit on the cool side. Now, as for those storms tomorrow night, I should say not tomorrow night, but Wednesday night into Thursday, Right now, the Storm Prediction Center has us under that marginal risk. Last night, it had us under the slight risk, so it keeps on moving it a little farther to the north. We will see tomorrow where it goes. But right now, I do think that the main threats with these uh, lines of showers and isolated thunderstorms would be high winds, and that's why they're in the high category right now. Really not too concerned uh, about the hail, and again, maybe a spin up here or there could be possible, but these are going to be a fast mover, and we're going to be very limited because we've got a cap on top of us. Clear skies tonight though 41 degrees a low temperature and then tomorrow mostly sunny and breezy 73 degrees will be the high as we look ahead here's the long range 10 day forecast we'll watch those storms late wednesday night into early thursday then high and dry weather with sunshine and a beautiful weekend shaping up upper 60s a little chilly there thursday night and friday night with lows in the 20s and down toward bryan and college station again very similar with those showers and storms late wednesday into early thursday Quiet on Friday with a nice looking weekend. Highs will be in the 60s and lows will be in the 30s. But